Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you my top 7 Cydia tweaks and add-ons for jailbroken devices. Number 7, Android Lock XT. In this tweak slash add-on, you are able to use your finger to draw a certain pattern on a grid in order to get it into your iPod or unlock it. You have many themes to do so. Blades, Homegod, Pac-Man, Squares, and, and just the regular original one. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it's like for me to get into my iPod. What I have to do is I have to draw a box around this thing. And it's cool because it's like a Pac-Man. I also like this little thing because, you know, it's just a, a good add-on to have. Number six is Lockdown Pro. Lockdown Pro is a simple tweak that allows you to lock your applications. To do so, you first find an app you'd wish to lock. I'm going to go ahead and lock the App Store. So you hold it down, and that, that lock in the corner you're going to want to press. And then enter the password you confirmed in your settings, and then it should turn red. That basically means it's locked. So when I try to get on my App Store, I'm going to have to enter my password to get in. This is a nice little tweak, I guess, because you never know when someone's going to steal your iPod and just, you know, roam around, roam around and do random stuff that you wouldn't like. So you can just lock your applications. Simple. Number five is multi-icon mover. What that allows you to do is the simple task of moving two applications or more to a different page without having to move them separately. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is, let's say I want to move notes and mail. I first hold down this and then I press both of the apps until they get these two check marks. Then I go over to this web or whatever page you want to put it on and you press home button. As you see, they show up right there. So I like this little tweak because when I want, I'm trying to make a lot of big, you know, big adjustments into my organization of applications. I can just move multiple in a very short time. Number four is Activator. Activator is an application that activates your apps the way you want to. Some ways you can do it at the home screen are short hold, press and hold your headset button, single press, double press, short hold, shake device. So I'm gonna hold, go ahead and click this one. And I'm just gonna have to set it to City. Once that's done, I can go to my home page and then shake it. And then, there we go, Cydia pops up. I like this little one just because it's a shortcut to opening up apps. Number three is Side Elite. I chose this one to be number three because it's just one of those things you have to have. Because when you install a Cydia application, let's say it's, you know, just not working well, you can delete it just by, you know, any way. So, you, let's say I want to delete Cydia, I hold on to it, and there, there's that X next to Cydia, and you just delete it. Number two is definitely Winterboard. Winterboard allows you to basically customize your whole iPod. It's the essential on why main, mainly people jailbreak their iPod. It's, you have multiple themes, just tons that you can get off Cydia, and when you click onto them, they will customize your iPod. It will first have to reboot, and then you should see a change. Number one, finally, is of course, Instalus, which is another very important reason why people jailbreak. They don't want to buy their apps. So all it is, is you search your application like, let's say I want tiny links. Just kind of hard typing with one finger, but whatever. Oh gosh, you want me to do this? Alright. Tiny links. You search it, and you, I mean, you can get all these other word versions, but you know, it's just the like, regular tiny links. Click download, go through a couple of steps, and there, it's on your iPod. That is definitely the number one reason without paying. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and rate. 
I would like some good feedback and any tutorial requests. Peace.